What's up guys, Sean the Bro here, and today we're going to be going over how we can add videos to our command list to demo moves. This will work in any widget, so you can use it outside of your command list, but that is what we're going to be specifically focusing on today. So let's say we start up our game, and right now we can only access the command list from inside the game for the character that we're playing as. I have gotten some ideas from some friends of mine who have come up with a method to display the command list for all the characters on the menu so you can actually flip through and check that out so for right now we can't do that so we have to go into the game but however you access the command list is fine as long as you can pause the game or go on your menu go to the command list we want to be able to play a video right here and in the future we'll be able to go through and select all of our attacks individually and it will play the corresponding video at this point in time, I only have one video and I cannot select the, the commands individually. So I can't show them all off. However, like I said, the next command list episode, we'll go over selecting these individually. So we can just display light attack, then we'll hide this video and load a medium attack video instead. That's what we're doing today. And we can write a description underneath or something, you know, write the stats about the move there's a lot you could do in here for each command also display the name of the character or put an image of the character as well however you want to set this up we have a lot of freedom but before we only had this box here which is good a little bit more versatility in here So before we get started today, if you want to get caught up in the series, we're on episode 142 of the fighting game tutorial series. We've come a really long way from the start, but we have a really long way to go. So feel free to click on that playlist to catch up to everything we've done to date. See how we got this product that we have right here. Otherwise, I'll link you to this episode right here, which is where we initially set up the command list widget in this game. So you can actually see what it is that we did. All right. So to get started today, we are going to need a video. So the first thing I did was record a video of my light attack. I'm using that as my basic video for now. I will go in and make videos for every single command on my character. That way I can display them in that widget. But for now, we're just gonna focus on getting a video loading. Once we can get one video loading, the rest of them will load pretty easily won't be as much work to do all the others so we'll get one working today and the rest can be working in the next one okay so the first thing we need to do is add a movies folder if we don't have one already now movies is the default folder that unreal uses to load these actual media sources now we've used them before in the series for the stage previews. So like for my, my stage intros, we have a media player and I can play a video like this. And so see, things can happen while we're in the game and they can play videos. So sometimes I just said we would play a video here. And so we already had videos in the movies folder in here but if you're following the series and you did not do the stage intros you might not have these so regardless you're going to need this folder now a lot of times unreal will start with this by default it will have a movies folder but if yours doesn't you can make one just call it movies with a capital m and it will work the same unreal searches for this file path in the content browser make sure it's in your in your standard content browser folder and it will know to use these as media sources so, you can go into the folder, and we're going to add our video. If you haven't done this before, the main thing we need to do is actually have the video in our folder. So, I'm going to go to the content folder, movies, and I have some videos in here that I've copied just as examples, like my Twitch trailer and stuff. But uh, we have our stage intros as well. I made a separate folder for these because I'm going to have a lot of videos. And you are allowed to have uh, folders within the movies folder and they'll still be rendered perfectly fine everywhere we need to use them. So I made a new folder here to put all the command list videos. Right now we may only have the one actual video, but we could have a ton of videos in here. 
for each command for each character so feel free to organize it as you see fit but what you really need is to have a video here it's just an mp4 file so if I click on this I can show you what it actually looks like this is the entire video I just took a short video of the actual uh, little clip of me playing and using that command I made sure I put it in this folder in my file explorer once I've done that unreal may ask me if I want to import it down here in the bottom right if it does go ahead and select yes if it doesn't that's okay too we can hit import we can select the folder or the uh, file that's in the folder direct to this folder if it doesn't spawn you here already although it should and then just click it and open it up I already have it so I'm not going to import it again but once you do that what you'll probably get is this you'll get this file media source and you're kind of like what the heck is this like this is not the video but really what this is is this just a path to the video where it's stored on the machine that way we can then open it up with a media player and use it now in some cases we would choose to pre-cache the file which as it says here is to load the entire media file in the memory and play from there we've shown some of that off for like the uh the intros for the, the stages and things we really should not be doing this here because if we load the entire media file into memory then all these commands that we have are all going to be loaded into memory so just to show you i'm leaving that unchecked let's load this up one more time skip our intros go down to the command list you can see it still loads fine we loaded it on the spot we don't have to preload it the preloading is better for performance if you have a long video and you want to load it in prior and then use it but we don't need to do that here we're going to load them and unload them as we switch between these commands so it's not a problem right now let's just make sure you leave this unchecked it'll probably be hidden by default anyway but since we had talked about that in the past I'd recommend leaving that unchecked for now although you can play around with it and see the differences and if you have a preference of one over the other anyway this file path should just match where you included the video from including the extension of the file like .mp4 now once you have this in here this is essentially the path to your video now we need something to actually play the video which is going to be our media player you could use the stage intro one that we already have I went ahead and made another one any media player can play any of the videos that has selected here so like I could play these videos on it in my widget as well but I'm going to keep them separate in case I want to load some and disable others or if I want the settings to be different on some media players than others so I go in and I make a new media player so I add new go to media select media player when I select this you're gonna name it I call it command list media player when you click into it you don't have to actually select the video this is just for demo just to show you what it looks like all right so that's up to you how you do that however I would recommend going over on the right side in the details leaving play on open true because we can play a video by default that way so the first command in the list can be played which is again the light attack in this case and then I'm also going to loop it because I want the video to loop while we're on that command right now it's just going to keep looping the same video because we only have one however I don't want it to just play and then turn off like that I want it to stay looping okay so I'd recommend selecting loop and then you can change any of this stuff if you want I did not everything looks fine to me and so now we have a media player and the media player is great because it allows us to actually play files from the source that we have here but it doesn't actually allow us we can't just put a media player into the widget like that it's not quite that simple so there are a few different methods we're going to use the material method but to get this to work we can make something called a media texture which outputs the uh the data from the media player into a texture you can go to add new media media texture okay and if you do this what happens is you actually have a texture that captures what the media player is seeing it prints to it so when you make a new one you call it whatever I call it command demo 
and then I passed in the media player of our command list media player. Okay, so when you make a new one, it'll look like this, okay? It'll just be a black box. And then you can select different media players, and as things play on those media players, they'll print to this texture. So I don't need this new one. The command demo I have is fine, but that's what it'll, it'll just be blank like this when you see it, but don't worry, nothing's wrong, just because nothing's printing to it from this. Okay, so as I actually change this, like if I were to play the refinery preview, the command demo would change as well. Okay, so whatever video we have playing on the media player is what goes to that texture, which is good because we want to be able to show multiple commands on it. So we need this texture to be able to change with the media player. With that done, we can now make a material, which is what we can actually put onto the widget. And we've done that plenty of times using a UI material. So you can take the media texture right click on it and create material out of it. I just call it material command demo or M command demo. All right, once we come in here, you might not see anything, it might be blank again, and that's perfectly fine. When you make it, it's going to be a material domain of surface, the default. So make sure you click on the material node with the final color and screen position. It'll be surface by default, okay? Make sure you change it to user interface. All right, so it looks like this. You're gonna click on this, change the material domain to user interface. When you do that, this link will often get broken. Drag the RGB back into the final color. Now, once you have that working, this material will pick up on whatever texture is passed into it. We're passing in the command demo texture. So as I keep saying, once I play this media player, this material is getting the data from the texture, which is changing based on the media player. So as this media player plays, sends data to the texture, the texture then comes into the material and passes it the final information. All right, so we have a material that works here and it's user interface type. Because it's user interface type, we can put it on a widget. So we go into our widget and I'm gonna go into my, com my command list. I've moved my command list over a little bit, made it a little bit longer. And then I've added two different things. So I've added a character name title, which is literally just text that I added to the canvas panel. I just called it name of character for now. Anchored it to the top middle, size the content, changed the outline and text settings, and the rest is normal. I haven't bound this to anything yet, but I'm just kind of getting the layout set up. So this will fill to the different characters that we are or the pages we're on. So for mutant, mannequin, vanguard, whatever. Then the other thing I added and the important thing for today's episode is an image that we can use for the command demo. Okay, so it's literally an image. Drag it into the canvas panel that we have here. And I called it command demo video, made sure it was a variable. Here are my positions, sizes, if you want to see any of that. Okay, nothing else down here has changed, so you can ignore it. The important part about getting material and a video on the widget is the brush. So we need to make sure that the image is bound to that material that we made. Okay, so this M command demo material needs to be used right here, M command demo. The brush allows you to put an image and a material is considered an image and when it's the UI version. So if it's UI domain, you put it in here and it works perfectly fine. It'll just show up as the standard uh, black image again. But if you open up a media player once more and we play this, we go over to our command list widget, you can see it's actually playing inside the widget. So we can see what it would look like. So you can change its size and whatever it is. However, we do actually have to play this because this is manually us opening it and playing it. It won't be that way in the game. We have to go choose which files open on the media player. Okay. So once you have this set up and you're happy with it and satisfied with everything you see here, you can go into your graph. Before we do that, I want to mention, if you can't find your material here, I've seen people have trouble with it in the past. I don't know if it depends on the engine version or what exactly, but if for whatever reason you can't search for your asset or just find it, 
and you're looking and you can't see it, you can actually drag in from the file explorer, the content browser. If you just click, drag, hold up to the tab, and you'd have to click on image. Image would have to st still be open, but you could actually paste it right in here. See this? I can put it right in here, or I can drag it onto a specific widget. So you have a lot of options for what you can do. So don't worry about that too much. You have plenty of choices, and that should work if it doesn't show up in your list. All right, and now let's go into the graph of the command list. And you can see everything I have in here has stayed the same, except for something super tiny here. So we're going to set this up, and I'm going to put it in place for you. Just wanted to put that out there so I could showcase it. This is what we're adding in. The rest is the same. And I'll do a little reroute node here to make this look nicer as well. All right. So all we've changed in today's episode to actually make this work is to have a media player and call a function called open source. So open source is a media player function that just opens a file essentially. Remember this was called the file media source. We're opening the file at that file path. That's really all it is. It's actually pretty simple in terms of how it works. But to do this, we need an a reference to the media player. There's a few ways you could get one. However, honestly, it's very easy to just include the media player directly. Media player isn't something we're going to be spawning. It's a built-in video that we want to display to the user. So we can actually, we know exactly what media player we're using, so we can directly pass it, and this is a safe operation. So make a new variable. Go to the variable type. Make sure you compile and save so you can change this. But go to your variable type and search for media player and you want the standard media player and you want to choose an object reference then you can again compile and save so you can pass it a value you want to click on the media player i called mine demo media player for like command demo because it's demoing the commands but whatever video media player just media player doesn't matter you're going to want to pass in the command list media player should show up in the list right here. Then you can literally get it, just drag it into the graph, drag off of it, and call it open source. There are more advanced things you can do with this, but this is all we need for today's episode. And then it will let you choose all of the file media sources, and we want to choose our specific command. Now in the next episode, when we're changing it based on what command we're on, of course we'll change this logic to not only play one, but to update and play the specific command tied to the action that we're on. But for now, you can pick the example video you have, and you're good to go. Just make sure you plug it in in your execution lines. I did it immediately after the initial cast. And yeah, now we're golden. You don't have to do anything else in here. It's all the same as it has been. And you can go through, and you can now play that video on the widget. And that's literally all there is to it. If you want to play it on a menu as opposed to in the game, it's the same deal. Nothing really changes. So while I can actually beat up my opponent and everything, I can also show a video of me beating up the opponent or using the moves that could be used to beat up the opponent in this video in my command list widget also want to fix up one bug that I introduced in a previous episode, which is where jumping could sometimes be limited. You can only jump a certain number of times based on your anim notifies. I had changed, made a change in the anim BP. For the end throw, end attack transition, I was setting the character state to no action. Well, end jump transition was also going through the same logic. And so when we were to finish the jump animation, we would set the character state back to no action, but that actually occurred previous to us landing. And so when we landed, our state wasn't jumping, in which case we did not reset the jump count. You could either manually reset the jump count here, or you can go ahead and just pull out this logic and just remove the character state, but do the, re the same logic here, bring it into the same endpoint. Just skip that character state set. Either way, we're going to be doing a lot more with this in the future, and we'll be more thorough, but I did want to fix that up in case anyone's running into that issue. That way you don't have to wait 
for one of those later and more advanced episodes for a solution to this. Any jump attacks you have as well, they use the end attack transition. Since we also want to reset the jump counter when they land from these, you can go ahead and change these to end jump transitions as well. Yes, they are attacks, but right now end attack transition and jump transition do virtually the exact same thing. Minus that one character state set. So you can go through and set all of these in here to your end jump transition. And if your end jump transition now doesn't set the character state, then that issue will be fixed. But then we can still have the character state being reset after these and notifies fire. So we got a lot more to do with this, but this is the main thing today. Once we have all this working, it's really a matter of knowing what video relates to what command and being able to go through and individually select each command to display that video to the widget. So that's what we'll be covering in the next command list video. But if you learned something today about the command list videos or with widgets inside of or videos inside widgets, then please subscribe. It does more for myself and the channel than anything else you can do. And I just really appreciate it. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to my YouTube membership and Patreon members and supporters. Thank you guys so much for this. I'm so incredibly grateful. So happy to be able to get out videos like this and so excited to show you guys and share with you what we've been able to accomplish week after week. If you had any issues with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, feel free to join the Discord community. I'd be happy to help you out. It's completely free and we'll get you sorted. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Sean the Bro, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.